This is the combined metropolitan area of Washington DC and Baltimore. You might not think much of it, but how do we get it to look like this? Let's find out. There are certain questions you have to answer in the process of defining a metro area, such as do you include more built up inner counties or do you include even exurban slash rural outer counties, even if some of those outer counties have cities of their own that aren't really related to the inner city, such as Athens in the scenario of Atlanta. There's also a question that comes up when you have two different metro areas that kind of share suburbs. The question is, what do you do with the suburbs in the middle? How do you know which metro to give them to? This example that we're looking at right now is Springfield, Massachusetts and Hartford, Connecticut. In this case, we have a state line going right through the middle, which makes it pretty easy to define. And for the purposes of the metro area, Hartford gets the Connecticut side and Springfield gets the Massachusetts side. It's not always that easy. We can always look at a case that doesn't have a state line through the middle of it. And here we go back to Baltimore and Washington. Where do you define the line here? Because cities like Columbia and Laurel lie dead in the middle. Here are four lines that we could use to separate the metro area, depending if you want to favor DC more or Baltimore. Now, the middle two lines are basically what the census defines as the dividing line, with the previous red and orange lines being blue and pink on this map, respectively. Now, there is always the option of just combining the two metro areas, which I believe in this case is the right option. However, if you do choose to combine the metro areas, there is always a question of which city do you choose to be the most important in the metro? Do you declare DC as the most important, or do you, or do you choose Baltimore as the, the most important? Now, I didn't include option C, which would be to just include both as the most important, which should also be considered the right option in this scenario. There are also other metro areas that have chosen two different cities to be the best or most important. Some examples include Minneapolis-St. Paul, Dallas-Fort Worth, or Raleigh Durham, but we can get even more complicated. What if we have three? Which one would you consider in this case since they all have solid arguments for being the most important city in their metro? For example, Hickory's the biggest, Morganton's the oldest, Lenora is the most centrally located, Hickory's also the one that is most well known, and Morganton and Lenora are most likely to not be considered the suburb of something bigger, aka Charlotte. There's two metro areas that have several cities that could be considered the biggest or most important one. The first one of these two examples would be the Hampton Roads region of Virginia. We have Newport News, Norfolk, Chesapeake, and Virginia Beach all being possible contenders for the most important. Norfolk is the, is the most centrally located, with the other three as well, Suffolk being centered around it. However, both Chesapeake and Virginia Beach are both larger than Norfolk. However, I think it's safe to assume that we can eliminate Chesapeake in this scenario. Because for one, it doesn't have a real downtown. And the lack of a real downtown or population center within its own city boundary is not made up for by its population difference over Norfolk, with it only having 12,000 more people. So it's time to say goodbye to Chesapeake, Virginia which leaves us with both Norfolk and Virginia Beach. But we're going to pull a DC Baltimore in this one and say they're both the most important in this metro area. But we can't forget about the other example that I alluded to earlier, and this would be none other than the Bay Area. There are tons of definitions you could use for the Bay Area, some being just around the most important bays itself, ranging to all the way to even some cities in the Central Valley. Heck, some people go as far to say that the Bay Area is the most definitionally challenged place in the U.S. Now, would I trust that unknown person? I don't know, but it's up to you. Now, there are three cities that could be considered the most important. San Francisco, Oakland, and San Jose. And these are also the three cities that have sports teams. Well, Oakland won't in a few years, but we don't talk about that. But since we're in California, there's a lot of large suburbs that could that would easily be qualified as one of the major cities in any of the other 49 states. And we have to go through the whole list of them. We have Richmond, Mountain View, Palo Alto, Fremont, Hayward, Concord, Santa Rosa, Livermore, Vacaville, and Vallejo, just to mention a few of them. And this is only the tip of the iceberg in large suburbs in the Bay Area. I still have to answer the question of which one is the most important. I don't want to waste your time, so we're just going to say San Jose and San Francisco can share the title of the most important in the Bay Area. With the reasons being that San Jose is the largest and San Francisco is the most important to the economy. 
And with that, we have passed our mission in finding the Bay Area, which, according to some, is the hardest task you could possibly do when defining things. Oh hey, you reached the end of the video. That's epic. Maybe you should subscribe if you made it here. I don't know, I'm not- I can't control you. I wish I could, but I can't. Oh, you could also watch this video too. That'd be fun. Thank you, maybe? You're probably not gonna. I'm probably just wasting air.